build this pressure pot, you'll need some basic plumbing parts. You'll need two couplings with a threaded end, two caps with a seal, and an extension piece. You'll see here that the wall is really thick. Even though we'll only be using low pressure, it's best to get the thick walled components. We'll be gluing all this together with some PVC cement. It's important when fitting the components together that you get it right the first time because once they touch each other, they make an instant bond. Next you'll want to grab yourself a pressure gauge and we're going to fit it right into the lid. I'll also be adding a safety relief valve. Here I'm just working out the position of the gauge and the relief valve. Just make sure that you stay clear of the seal. Now I'm drilling the hole for the gauge. It's a good idea to drill a hole in a test piece just to make sure it's not too big. As an added safety precaution, I'm going to put some epoxy around the threads just to keep them in tight. The last thing you'll need is a filling valve. These are the same ones you find on car wheels. It's important not to drill your hole too big for this because you can see here that this is where it needs to sit. To help the valve get through the hole, I'm just going to spray some lubricant. Here I'm just screwing on a valve extension just to make it easier to pull through the hole. Now it's time to test. I'll be using my shop air compressor for this, but if you don't have one, you can also use a bike pump. And it works great. While I'm here, I'll test the safety release valve. So now it's time to test it out. I'm going to be casting two round balls. Now I'm just going to be using some ice silicon molds for this. I've also made this little caddy just so I can get my castings in and out of the pot. To do this experiment, I'll be using the same resin and I'll be casting one ball and leaving it outside and the second ball I'll put in the pot. For this experiment, I'm just going to pressurise to 18 psi. I'm going to run a low pressure and see what we get. I've left that to cure overnight, so now it's time to check the results. The first one I'm going to take out of the mould is the one that we left outside of the pressure pot. You can see here that that is a lot of bubbles. Now it's time to pull the one out from the pressure pot and see what we have. The difference is amazing. I knew the pressure pot would work. I wasn't too sure about using low pressure, but as you can see here, it works great. Well that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I put new how-to and build videos out every couple of weeks. You can also see sneak peeks of upcoming projects on my Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.